Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at fourth day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is open the lock. So the input given here is a string array which represents the dead end string target and we have to return the number of steps we have to rotate the given lock in order to reach this target without reaching this dead end. So let's understand this problem statement with an example. So here is our given lock. Our lock is going to start from the state 0000, 0, 0, 0 and you can rotate the lock either clockwise or anti-clockwise. That is the digits given is 0 to 9 and if you are rotating your first wheel at first step then this can be rotated to either 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, that is moving our first wheel to 1 or 9, 0, 0, 0, by moving it to anti-clockwise. Likewise, you can move one wheel at a time at each step in order to reach any of this combination from 0 to 9. And if at all you reach this state, any of the state listed in dead ends, then in that case, your lock will be locked. You cannot further rotate or proceed to unlock it. So without reaching these dead end states, you have to reach your target. So coming back to this example, we are going to start from 0000, 0, 0, 0, and we are trying to reach 0, 02. 0, 2. So the values in the wheels 0 to second wheel and the fourth wheel are there, and rest of the first and third wheel are still zeros. So let us start from 0000. 0, 0, 0. So we are going to start from the state 0000, 0, 0, 0, and we have values at only position 2 and 4. So we are trying to make the values only in those positions, then it is going to become 0, 01. 0, 0 at the first step and again you are checking whether this is in the dead ends no it is not there so we can proceed further so we are trying to change this position 2 to 2 again so it is going to become 0 2 0 2 it is also valid so now we fixed our second position at step 2 we are trying to make our fourth position now to 2 so in that case if you try to make it 0 2 0 1 it is actually a dead end so you cannot further change it directly to 0, 1. So instead of making it to 1, we are trying to make any other position to 1. So let us try to make it to 1, 2, 0, 0 and check whether that is in dead end. No, it is not there in dead end. So it is step 3. So from step 3, we are trying to make it to 1, 2, 0, 1 and then 1, 2, 0, 2 and finally make this temporary 1 to 0. So that is going to become 0 to 0 to and we have achieved our target at step 6. So you can come to this point in different combination of steps as well. That is starting from uh, 0 1 0 0 you can further make it to 1 1 0 0 and then make the last position to other one because if you try to change it to 0 1 0 1 it is actually a dead end again. So considering all these possibilities, we have to arrive at our target. So how are you going to approach this? This is another good example of a BFS approach. Yes, we are going to use a BFS technique to arrive at this solution. So let's see how. So here is the tree structure of our inputs. We are going to start from 0000, 0, 0, 0 and start exploring all possible combination of paths from 0000. 0, 0, 0. So we can either move the first wheel to 1 or the second wheel to 1 or the third wheel to 1 or the fourth wheel to 1 or you can rotate them in anti-clockwise direction that is making the first wheel to 9 or the second wheel to 9 or the third wheel to 9 or the fourth wheel to 9 same way from 1 0 0 0 you can again change the first wheel to 2 and the or the second wheel to 1 or the third wheel to 1 and or the fourth wheel to 1 or the anti-clockwise that is making 9008000 and so on. So we are going to do a BFS by exploring all possible paths and if at any of the path it reach 0202 02, then we are going to count the number of steps till that level and return that as our result or the depth of that level and return that as our output. So this is how our BFS is going to work and there comes the dead ends where we have to check for the dead ends as well. So here we are going to maintain a set which consisting of dead ends. So if at all there 
reach a state if suppose we are changing it to 0 0 1 and 0 1 then in that case it is a dead end we cannot further proceed or explore this path and we cut it off and further proceed with the valid ones that is how we are going to handle our dead ends here and one more thing to note is if suppose we are proceeding with 1 0 0 0 and we got one path 1 0 1 0 and we are going to further proceed with this path and explore with the valid ones same case is going to arrive again here if you see after this step also you are having a 1 0 1 0 so in that case it is duplicate of work so in we are going to add these paths to dead end set once it is visited so we are going to get the help of dead end set to avoid the duplicate work as well so whenever we visit a string we are going to add that to dead ends and if this is already in dead end so we are not going to proceed with that further so this is nothing but a overall combination of strings for every possible output that is for 0000, 000, 000 there is this many combinations we can arrive at the next level that is we either change it to 9 or 1 same way at every different position so again for 9000 you have this set of combination that is you change either to 8 or change the other positions to 9 or 1 or you go back to 0000, 000, 000. same way it has for next thousand and 0900 and 0100 and so on and further from these states we still have other set of combinations and proceed further till we reach 0 to 0 to so hope you all understand what is a BFS by now and how we are going to do it so let's have a very quick dry run before getting into our code so yes as always we are going to get the help of Q to perform our PFS we are going to start adding with 0000 and as I said we are going to generate all possible neighbors for 0000 and let us add 9000 and 1000 and 10010 and so on as we cannot add everything and show so once this is done, once we explode 000, we are going to pop that off and again going to perform the same set of operations for these combinations. So to perform that, we are going to have a help of a neighbor method, which is going to generate all possible combinations of the current value. So again, we are going to take 9000 and perform the neighbor operation. It is going to send a list of strings, which is the further children of 9000 for example it can be 9010 or 8000 and so on so once we added all the combinations of 900 we are going to pop that off further we take 100 and add its combinations to the end of the queue and again pop that off and while performing this we are going to have a dead end set and this set is going to record all the dead ends given here in the input also the visited or performed for example here 9000 is already visited so we are going to add that to our dead ends for example if we encounter 8000 its children can be 9000 as we can move the first wheel to clockwise direction in that case we have already explored its children and did whatever we can do with 9000 so we will add that to dead end so when it comes to this children it checks whether it is already present in the dead end and if it is present it is not going to further proceed with this by that we avoid the duplicate work as well so by considering the dead ends and the visited paths it is further going to add its children and its children and when it reach 0202 at any state then we are going to return the number of steps we have incremented so far so yes hope you are understanding this solution and hope i am not confusing you so this is actually going to work in n square plus a power n plus d where n square n is nothing but the number of wheels given so here it is 4 so simply we can put that as 4 square plus a power n a is nothing but the number of digits here it is 10 digits power 4 plus d is the number of dead ends given so overall it is for this problem 4 square plus 10 power 4 plus d so where d is the number of dead ends given in the input so let's go to the code now 
So here is the code for our DFS approach. Let's go to the neighbors function first. Here every time it sends a code, it is going to iterate all the four digits and take the digit and add one and subtract one. That is moving it clockwise as well as anti-clockwise with the particular character and append it with the variable and finally construct the substring that whatever left in the before and the after and in between we are adding our y. y is nothing but the computed newly computed value by adding plus 1 and minus 1. So for each position of all four positions we are updating this and we are going to add that to our result list and result list is nothing but the string list and we are going to return that to our main method. So here comes the main method we are going to add 0000, 0, 0, 0 to our queue and before that we are checking if the dead end itself is having 00, 0 then we are going to return minus 1 as we cannot further proceed with any of the possible combinations. If not we are defining a queue and adding 000 at the initial state to our queue and I am declaring the steps equal to 0 that is what is going to be our output finally and as usual this is going to be our standard BFS code we have used in all our BFS approaches. Here we are going to iterate till our queue gets empty and I am going to take the size of the queue and iterate till the size is getting over because at that level we are going to iterate every possible code and its combinations. So at at every iteration ends we are going to increment the steps which is nothing but the level of our tree and we are going to return it that as our output whenever we reached our target. So that is what we are checking. We are going to take the current element from the queue and check whether it is equal to our target. If it is equal then we are going to return the number of steps. If not, if it is not equal then we are going to call our neighbor function to generate all list of strings of that particular code and we are going to iterate each code and if it is present in the dead dead end or the dead set because we are declaring a dead set initially and we are adding whatever given in the dead end string as a list because it is easy for us to check whether the value is present or not there in the set. So if it is present we are not going to further proceed with that path so we are simply skipping the loop. If not we are going to add that to our dead set because we are visiting it and offer its neighbor to our queue which is nothing but we have called our neighbors function to create the list and we are going to add each string to the queue and further complete the loop and whenever we reach our target we are going to return the number of steps if not we cannot reach the target so we are going to return minus one. Though this approach is a bit slow this is going to be the first intuitive solution for me as well as you hopefully and you can arrive at this solution possibly in a 45 minutes interview. Let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted. Hope I made it clear and I'm not confusing. Our code runs in 166 millisecond though it is kind of a slower solution. Hope it is an intuitive solution so for most of you all. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked this video. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.